Hi, how are you children? I hope you all are doing well. Again in this pleasant Sunday, I glad to see you. Let us start our class with a prayer. Please stand up, join your hands, close your eyes. Oh my God, please send up Holy Spirit upon us. Please strengthen our divine faith, memory and knowledge. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our sins as we forgive those who trespass us against us. Lead us not into temptation, but let us from heaven. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the food of your Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ forever. Okay. Please be seated. Today I am explaining about forbidden fruit. Does you know forbidden fruit? What is forbidden fruit? Does anyone know? Okay, I will show you. One day, Eve walked by the tree of knowledge, where the serpent lived, the most cunning of the animals created by God, and the creature called the innocent Eve. Apparently, God said that you must not feed on the fruit of knowledge. And Eve said that God allowed Adam and her to eat of any fruit of the garden, except the forbidden fruit, and they would surely die if they did such a thing. You will certainly not perish. God knows that. By eating the fruit of knowledge, your eyes will be open and distinguish good from evil. Persuaded by the serpent, the temptation to taste the forbidden fruit was irresistible to Eve. The woman then tasted the fruit of the tree of knowledge and offered it to her husband. There was joy everywhere in the garden of Eden. Cuckoo sang. Peacock spread their tails and danced. Tiger cubs and the fawns of deers played together. The joy of Adam and Eve know no bounds. Fruit sweet as honey to eat, nectar of flowers to nibble, creepers to swing on for sport. In this way, everything they required were provided. It was God who gave them what they required. In the middle of the garden, there were two trees. One tree was the tree of life and the other tree of knowledge. God pointed at the second tree and said, You are free to eat of every tree, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. But Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit and sinned against God. Violation of God's commandments is sin. How do you feel about the story of forbidden fruit? Do you like? Okay, today I will I will be giving some activity for you. Look at these pictures and narrate the story. Along with this, take a video and send to you your respective teachers. Okay? Then one prayer you have to buy her, which will Ten Commandments. 
after this chapter you have to by heart 10 commandments you have to by heart three commandments in this week okay first commandment is and the lord your god you shall not have any other gods beside me repeat i am the lord your god you shall not any other gods beside me then second one you shall not take the name of your god in vain please repeat you shall not take the name of your god in vain then third one remember to keep the sabbath holy remember to keep the sabbath holy commandments you have to by heart okay children let us stop the class with a prayer please stand up dear god it is my desire to obey you help me to keep your commandments and grow in your love Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ. Bye children. See you next class.